Those temperatures in the 50s, you can put up with the breeze. So. Yes. It was not bad by any means. Unfortunately, we do have a cold front that's moving through this morning. You can see the color contrast right now. Those shades of green are the milder temperatures and the deeper blues starting to come in. We've already dropped in temperatures where earlier this morning we were a little closer to the 40 degree mark. Now Fort Wayne has fallen and we're back down into the mid 30s, still holding out of the 40s in Indianapolis, rising up into the 50s in Evansville before that crash comes through as that cold front moves in. All in all, though, this cold front for today, not going to mean too too much. In fact, it will allow a little bit of clearing at times for today, so you will likely see a little bit more sunshine at times. We will have passing clouds, so it's not going to be a completely sunny day, but nonetheless, a little bit of bright news as we start out this new work week. As we go in towards tonight, especially in the overnight hours, picking up on more cloud cover as winds start to gust up going into tomorrow. So hometown highs today, while it's not going to be quite as warm as yesterday, it's still going to be very beautiful for this time of year. We're looking at the 50s, especially south of US 30. Getting towards 50 degrees today in Decatur, 51 in Bluffton, getting to 53 in Hartford City, 49 in Huntington, 50 degrees in Wabash. Going up north, we do have more 40 degrees on the map. We're looking at 47 today in Auburn, 47 in Bryan, 48 in Defiance, and 48 right here in Fort Wayne. Again, those partly cloudy skies, you can't really complain when you get a little bit of sunshine out. Now, as we go late tonight into tomorrow, we do start to gust up with the winds a little bit more. Specifically, the morning commute tomorrow as kids get ready for the bus stop. Going to be a bit breezy at times as we deal with wind gusts close to about 30 to 35 miles per hour. Now, beyond that, though, the biggest weather system we're talking about will come through for Wednesday, and this is going to be a larger Midwest system. In fact, the majority of the Hoosier State and Buckeye State dealing with rain, although we do converge with a good amount of cold air in the upper Midwest. While this does paint us the possibility of a little bit of freezing rain closer to the northern Indiana Ohio line, I do think the best possibility for any freezing rain for Wednesday is mainly going to be in southern Michigan. But nonetheless, things could get a little messy for a period of an hour or two. So we will be watching that as we go towards Wednesday. And especially if you do any plans when it comes to maybe driving up north on Wednesday, that is going to be something to watch out for. However, beyond the rain, we are looking at another mild swing on the way for Thursday, hitting the 60s yet again. 60s coming with some pretty breezy conditions. As we go towards Thursday night into Friday, temperatures really start to crash again. Back into the low 20s Thursday night not even breaking freezing for Friday and back into the 40s for the weekend. Okay, Liz, a little bit of a weather roller coaster once again this week. I know. Well, I was telling Tony, this is like deja vu for me because on Monday I was telling you, you know, quiet start to the week, rain by Wednesday, one warm day and then one cold day. Yes. And it's the same thing this week. Yeah, I've had to take like Zyrtec every single day this week because the weather has been so up and down. It's messing with my allergies. I know I'm the same way The you know, the temperature swings starting yeah. to make everyone feel a little weird. Exactly. <laughs> well, get through it though. Liz, <laughs> yes. thank you so much.